Hello project managers and engineers. Welcome back to Engineeringly. In this video, you're going to learn how to create risk probability and impact metrics in Google Sheets. Well, if you haven't heard of risk probability and impact metrics, it's one of the tools in risk assessment and risk management which prioritizes the risks based on their probability and impacts. So if a risk is of high probability, which means that the risk is highly likely to happen or occur, and also if it occurs, the impact will be high, that risk go to the top of your list, while a risk with low probability and low impact goes to the end of your list. So that's how this matrix is used to analyze risks qualitatively. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a risk assessment matrix for impact and probability in Google Sheets. So first and foremost, we have the numbers for a probability, which means that the number one is low probability, while number five is high probability. Same applies for the impact. Let's bring these to the center here. And so now if I'm going to score and position specific risks, what I'm going to do is use a simple multiplication function. So I'll write down equal sign probability here multiplied by the impact. The only thing that I need to do is, since I will be dragging this down and also to the right, I don't want this column, which is for impact ranking and also the probability row, row number two to not move. In order to make them absolute, what I will do is for C2, I will lock the row number, while for B, I'll lock the column number. Press enter, and then let's apply this to the rest of the cells on the right here as well. So now let's apply conditional formatting to this. In order to do that, go to Format, and then we'll go to Conditional Formatting, select Color Skill, and in here, you will select for the minimum value, the color should be this green color, for example, and for the midpoint, which will be in terms of percentile and 50 percentile, this should be a yellow color, and also for the maximum value, this should be a red color, and there you go. You have a visually clean and neat probability and impact matrix for your project's risks. And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the content of this video helpful, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel, also following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.